Hi guys, it's Monday morning now. Um, you already saw me writing the letters to my patrons. This is uh, the first thing I did this morning and now I will pack uh, the rest of the goodie bags. I also have to pack my shop orders today and then I will also um, print the lemon print that you saw. I showed you this and today I'm planning on um, making a print with my home printer and showing you the process because um, I asked you guys in my last vlog if you are interested in seeing this because I'm completely new to this too. So I tried it out last week. I did a mini print for my patrons for the goodie bag and it was great. So I want to show you how I do that. So yeah, let's go. I already prepared what I will put in the goodie bags. I ordered little cute pink envelopes for them. Now I start packing everything together. Oh, and I also bought very cute, um, I don't know, it's like holographic tape. I thought it's cute. I wanted to try it out. The first thing I do when I pack orders or the goodie bags now, I am printing shipping labels so I don't have to handwrite the addresses. I used to do that, but it takes so much time and it's, it's just better to print it. So I just got back from the post office and from the dog park and now I'm gonna draw the Inktober for today. Today's theme is missing.
done. Now it is 4 p.m. in the afternoon and I will start printing. And I try to explain how I do it. Yeah. So I have two types of paper that I use. Um, and these are also the only ones that I tried so far. Um, it definitely will change after a while, I think. Um, but this is the one that I showed you in my last vlog. This is in, it's A3. It's even a little bit bigger than A3. And it has this watercolor texture, but it only is 190 GSM, I, I think. So it's a bit thin. And then I ordered this one. This is A3 and it is in 260 GSM. It is matte, it, it has no texture, so it's very smooth. And yeah, I will try printing on this one now for the first time. And uh, let's see how that goes. This is the printer that I have. It's the Canon Pixma Pro 10S. You can also get the Canon Pixma Pro 100S, or it's just 100 or something. They're both very good and the 100 S is a little bit cheaper because this one is very expensive so there's a cheaper option for it still very expensive um, but yeah this um, is a printer that can print a3 no even more than a3 it can also print very thick paper up to 300 gsm I think even a little bit more I'm not sure it's an inkjet printer Close it. Prints. I have to rearrange the document. I have to do that with Photoshop. So I open Photoshop. Okay, I hope you can see something. So what I do is I yeah, I open a new file and I select the A3 size because the paper is A3. Okay, so here we go. This is my A3 paper. A3 is four times A5 because um, half of the A3 paper would be A4 and half of the A4 is A5. So you probably know that already. So the next thing I'm gonna do is get my lemon print. Okay, I just dragged the file that I wanna print in here and now I'm hiding it again. And now I'm going to set the guidelines that will show me where the half, like the middle of the page is, so I know where to put the prints, you see. So I just, from above, from this ruler, I just drag, click and hold and drag down. This is how you create a guideline. And it kind of snaps where the middle is, so you don't even have to do any measurement. Same from this side. Um, and it snaps where the center is of the paper. All right, and now I'm showing this again and dragging it to where I want it to be. So it's a little bit too big, so I adjust the size like this. The file already has like a border, so I can cut it. <laughs> oh my God, so bad at explaining. So I copy and paste another one, put it in here, copy and paste those two and drag it down here. I'm just checking if everything is right. Yes. Now I am saving it. This is the app that I use for home printing. It is called Canon Selfie or something. And then I choose documents. This is the file and then it will show it to you like this. I already have um, the settings for the paper. The size is A3. Um, Photo Paper Pro Luster is the name of the paper. And that's it. I'm just gonna do one print because it's just a test. And yeah, so let's go. Okay, so the printer is done and I really like the paper i never tried it if i hold the camera like this you can kind of see the texture and it has like a little grainy feeling to it 
you can also feel it if you if you touch the paper and I also like how the the print looks exactly like my Photoshop file it looks the same I'm telling you <laughs> this is amazing I think I prefer this paper over the other paper with the watercolor texture so very happy with it now all you have to do I'm sorry the print is loud <laughs> now all you have to do is cut your paper and then that's it if you have any more questions about the printing process like maybe in the next video I can show you how I set up um, the file uh, from watercolor to printable file thing because I already um, because I already did this before um, like a couple of weeks ago already I prepped the file to be printed because I was planning on sending it to the printer but now I just print it at home what else that's the print there we go my first homemade lemon print We just had dinner, Dom made some salad and now I'm gonna spend the rest of the night packing orders and watching some cat creature. See you! Good morning, it is Tuesday now and I spent the night uh, packing all the orders um, and I also painted the Inktober for today because I don't have time for that today. So this is the piece for today. The prompt is bottle. And now I will do some sketches and I see you later. Okay, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions or video requests, let me know in the comments below too. And I see you next time. Bye!